Hello, audience. It's another episode of the Not So Late Show. I'm Noelle Lara, and I am here with one of my favorite comedians, Lauren Lapkus. Hi, Lauren. Hi, that was so nice. Thanks for saying that. <laughs> well, it's because you you probably know this, but uh, I when I came to Los Angeles in 2012, I went to a Bang Rang show, which you're, you were a part of, and I remember seeing you on stage, and first of all, I was like, oh, she kind of moves like me. <laughs> I thought that about you when I saw you. <laughs> and, and besides for that, besides for being like, I identify with someone, I was like, oh, she's so funny. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. <laughs> How's quarantine going? Um, it's going okay. I um, I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing. I've heard about Animal Crossing. I have I have not delved into it yet. Uh, well, I I got it right when um, the quarantine started, just kind of because I noticed a lot of people were playing. A lot of my friends were playing it, and so I got it, and I have been playing it every single day ever since. And it's very fun, and it's really calming. It's like it's very nice. It's a nice video game. Like everyone is nice to each other, and you just have like positive goals. So it's very cool. It's also I wonder if there's something like oh I have control over this small little thing when everything else just seems like I don't know. Yes, 100%, because I'm like, you know, setting up my house in the game with like fake little like <laughs> objects that I buy with fake money, and it feels like a, a little activity that I did. Like, oh, well, I didn't really get, go outside today, but I did like organize my house in Animal Crossing, and that was really productive. Yeah, <laughs> I, I get that. So, as I said, you're a super funny comedian. You're also an actor-actress. Uh, what do you identify as more? Because do you feel like you're like, oh, acting is my thing, or is it like comedy, and that's kind of my my avenue to acting? Yeah, I would say I'm a comedian first. That's how I really identify. I feel like that was my goal my whole life, like ever since I was a little kid, was to be a comedian. So. That's the fact that I like make money being a comedian is like, I'm gonna hold on to that. So I'm a comedian. Yeah. And then anything else I get is just like extra bonus. Cool. Like, I, yeah, I'm also an actor. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when did you first learn you were funny? Wow. Um, I was in a play, like a children's theater play, when I was in fourth grade. It was Beauty and the Beast. And I didn't, um, I auditioned for like any role, but I didn't get any role that was actually in the script. So they wrote an extra part for me where I was Mother Wolf, which is a fake character. Yeah. <laughs> and they had like, there was like a little like running story through with Beauty and the Beast where like this little baby wolf is lost and like, I don't know. So I was a mother wolf. There was like a father wolf and a baby wolf. And um, we kind of got to improvise a little bit. And so we would get laughs like doing this little weird mother wolf part of Beauty and the Beast that no one's ever heard of. And it felt so good. I was like, this is like officially what I want to do. I just, in my mind, I'm imagining this theater production and Beauty and the Beast is a large cast. The fact that every other part was taken, like this has to be a 50 character. <laughs> Children. I think it's more about my skill level, <laughs> which was maybe not great with singing or something. So right. They were They're like, like, we're we're cutting Lumiere. He's out of the story, but we're gonna give her baby wolf. Just be a wolf. You'll yeah. you'll be fine. Yeah. So your career has been super prolific. You've been in anything from you do podcasts. You've been in hopefully what our audience hasn't seen, Orange the New Black. You were in Jurassic <laughs> World. <laughs> Like you were, you've been doing, you've done everything. Do you have like a favorite kind of avenue of what you like to do? Or are you just someone that's like, it's fun, I love it all? Yeah, I really do love it all. I think I find different challenges and everything. Like I really enjoy like something like Jurassic World. It's like, it's an action movie. It's so unlike anything that I would expect to get to do. So that was really cool because I got to like be in that kind of world, like where there's dinosaurs running around. And that was so cool. Um, but I also love getting to do, I mean, I mainly love getting to do comedy. I love getting to do really big characters. And that's my favorite thing. And I love voiceover work for that reason because you can be like anything. And so I, that's a job that I've really loved as I've gotten into that over the years. It's something I always wanted to do too. And it's really hard to get in, but like once I started getting jobs, it leads to other jobs. And I, I love doing cartoons because you can be anything. Yeah, I just had a job in animation. I was writing for a show for a year and I like went into this world not knowing anything about it and then being so impressed by everyone who's a voiceover actor. Cause you have to have such range in your every single like oh word that you say. Yeah, and I've worked with some people who are like that that is their main thing. Like they've been voice actors for 20 years and they can do 
a million voices and they just like turn on a dime. They can they can have conversations with themselves in the scene. Like they're playing two different characters talking to each other and they don't even pause. Like they change their voice so distinctly. It's so impressive. I don't feel like I'm there, but I love watching people who can do that. But like as a kid, I would practice with Jurassic World like or like movies like that, like pretending like I saw something scary. Like Blair Witch yes. came out and I'd be like. <laughs> That's so fun. <laughs> You have to totally use your imagination. Like in Jurassic World, my character works in the um, control center. So I'm like watching things on the security cameras in the, the park, but there's nothing happening because they haven't even shot that stuff yet. So <laughs> I'm just watching fake t TVs that have nothing on them that are literally like green screens, just green TVs. And I'm supposed to like be crying like I'm watching someone get eaten by a dinosaur. Like it is very hard. Like you have to really use your imagination. <laughs> yeah. So at the end of every interview, I always play a game. Um, you've done improv for years. So we are going to play the interview game where you are going to be my voice and I'm going to be your voice. Okay. So I'm just going to make a lot of big movements. You will act as me. And then when you start flapping your lips, I will be you. Okay, great. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, so I just want to like talk to you guys because like we're actually okay. So Clorox wipes, like I actually have to look at these because no, I don't, guys. Seriously, I need everyone here to stop playing. Pay attention. Seriously, pay attention. You guys, okay, okay. I want to get back, and you don't want to see me get mad because when I get mad, I actually have steam come out of my ears. Okay, <laughs> if you don't believe it. Oh, and like no, well, come on, calm down. What are you doing? You're crazy. We're on camera right now. Are you serious? Are you really doing this? Oh my gosh! Like, uh, oh, by the way, uh, I have one thing to say, and that thing is that two things. I have two things to say. Actually, I have three things to say right now. Number four is my favorite number, and that's something everyone should know about me. Well, actually, I want to chime in because I've always thought that number four was actually one of the most controversial numbers in all of number history. So I don't think I'd even need to tell you that four comes before five, which is most famously known as one of the best numbers. So we actually already know the numbers are ranked in order by how good they are going up. One, bad. Two, not that bad. Three, bad. Four, actually the worst number, because I think I did say it was the worst number. And then five is what a fantastic best number that there is. Yeah, so 10 and then high five. <laughs> yeah. Great job, that was super fun. <laughs> that was very fun. <laughs> uh, we, we taught kids a big lesson about counting. I feel we like, did. thank you so much. Where can kids watch you next? Well, kids can watch me on, I have a Netflix show. It's a cartoon. It's called Harvey Girls Forever. It's a really, really fun cartoon. Um, I think it's hilarious. I play Lada and she's a really cute character. So you should check that out. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Lauren Lapkus. But you know, I think that cartoon is probably the best way to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> number one, it's number four way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Lauren, and thank you, audience, for watching. Good night, and don't forget to wash your hands.